the FBI is watching what you watch on YouTube and they can ask Google to hand over your personal information. That means your name, your email address, your address, your home address, your phone number. They have been doing this. I know this is not shocking, but it's still upsetting. This was reported last week by Forbes. They say that federal investigators have ordered Google to provide information on all viewers of select YouTube videos. Now, you may not have watched any of these YouTube videos, but it's the precedence that matters here, right? Because you watch things, whether you think you do or not, that the algorithm serves to you, and then you make a decision. So here is what has happened. Uh, in a just unsealed Kentucky uh, case reviewed by Forbes, undercover cops sought to identify the individual behind the online moniker Elon Musk WHM, who they suspect of buying Bitcoin for cash. So that was the reason they were after this channel. Now, in conversations with the user in early January, undercover agents said link, sent links of YouTube tutorials for mapping via drones and augmented reality software. Then they asked Google for information on who had viewed the videos which had been viewed over 30,000 times. Now, the court order shows that the government is telling Google to provide them with names, addresses, telephone numbers, and user activity for all Google account users who access the YouTube videos in January of 2023. The government also wanted IP addresses of non-Google account owners who viewed the video, and they argued there's reason to believe that these records would be relevant and materials to an ongoing criminal investigation, including by providing identification information about the perpetrators. Uh, okay, so that's a lot, right? You just stumble upon a video, now the government knows where you live, and they're watching you. They want your IP address, and even if you were watching anonymously, they want you unveiled, unmasked. And did Google do it? Well, Forbes cannot confirm if they did or not, but the court did grant the request. In another case, the feds found a live stream of a guy in New Hampshire that had made a bomb and requested that Google provide a list of accounts that viewed and or interacted with the live streams and the associated identifying information during specific time frames. So like the Twitter files, we see the government getting increasingly comfortable asking for this information behind social networks, right? Right? Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, make anybody else nervous? You yeah. don't like it? You like it? No. Okay. Well, like Anthony Goodley says in the chat here um, on Rumble, the Fed setting up a honeypot then asking YouTube for user data of those who watched it is such BS. So was it a honeypot video, this particular, um, like they were they were putting well, this out there or they were using it as a, a catch-all? They did, they did send it out on their own. They weren't actually the ones doing it, but they... Uh, you know, they sent out the link and then saw who is going to interact with them. Now, Forbes spoke to privacy experts who said this is concerning and here's why. They said this is unconstitutional because it un uh, undoes protections of the First and Fourth Amendments covering free speech and freedom from unreasonable searches. This person here says this is the latest chapter in a disturbing trend where we see government agencies increasingly transforming search warrants into digital drag nets. It's unconstitutional, it's terrifying, and it happens every day. He says no one should fear a knock at the door from police simply because of what the YouTube algorithm serves up. I'm horrified that the courts are allowing it. I am too. He said, this is just chilling. Um, and this person at the bottom, another privacy expert says, what we watch online can reveal deeply sensitive information about us, our politics, our passions, our religious beliefs, and much more. It is fair to expect that law enforcement won't have access to that information without probable cause. This order turns this assumption on this head. So the court's are allowing it. Google, I mean, you can't you can't blame the feds for asking, right? They want something, they ask. You can blame a judge for allowing it, and that's exactly what our judicial system is doing. And yeah, it's scary to think you could be surveyed just by what the algorithm shows you, but again, we should not be surprised by this and we should not be surprised that they think Google will be their patsy for this because as former State Department cyber expert Michael Benz recently pointed out on Tucker Carlson's show, Google was basically started by the CIA. Google is a great example of this. Google began as a DARPA grant 
uh, by Larry Page and Sergey Brin when they were Stanford PhDs. And they, they got their funding as part of a joint CIA-NSA program to chart how, quote, birds of a feather flock together online through search engine aggregation. And then one year later, they launched Google and then became a military contractor quickly. Thereafter, they got Google Maps by purchasing a CIA satellite software, essentially. Uh, and the ability to track, to use free speech on the Internet as a way to circumvent state control over media over in places like Central Asia or all around the world was seen as a way to be able to do what used to be done out of CIA station houses or out of embassies or consulates in a way that that was totally turbocharged. And all of the Internet free speech technology was initially created by our national security state. VPNs, virtual private networks to hide your, your IP address. Tor, the dark web, to be able to buy and trail, uh, sell goods anonymously. End-to-end -end encrypted chats. All of these things were created initially as DARPA projects or as joint CIA NSA projects to be able to help intelligence-backed groups to overthrow governments that were causing a problem uh, to the Clinton administration or the Bush administration or the Obama administration. And this plan worked magically from about 1991 until about 2014 uh, when there began to be an about face on Internet freedom and its utility. Okay, Jake Weber in our YouTube chat says, everybody turn off redacted. Now, I can see <laughs> that by doing this story, we are shooting ourselves in the foot a little. Look at the... <laughs> Look at our views. Once we started to talk about how uh, the FBI can track you <laughs> based on your YouTube views, the so views I'm went up. By the way, no, yeah. look. So people are like, "F you" to the uh, to the uh, the feds. They're like, "We're watching Redacted." So our we can see on a chat. <laughs> we had like a little bit <laughs> of dip, see, and then people are like, Ooh. <laughs> "We can see, yeah, we can see on a chart here." People, well, after yeah, but now it's like going up steadily as we're talking about this. So thank you for giving the middle finger for you know. sticking with us. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and if they come to your house, I want to know about it. If they're saying, "Hey, you're watching Redacted," what do you think? Are you anti-government? And you can say, I am a non-pacifist peace extremist. That's so, yes, exactly right. That's exactly what you should say. Uh, again, so is it any wonder that Google would hand over data to the government when they are a tool of the government? Let us know what you think of this. Uh, we've got more news to get to. I just oh, like ahead. the idea. Oh, sorry, I, just, I just like the idea that the thought of like an FBI agent, like like learning how to build like old school, like wagon coaches and stuff like that by watching my YouTube streams is um as I'm watching them, they'll know something about pottery and art restoration because mm -hmm. that's basically yeah. all I watch. So I just, I just, oh. I just feel good for that. That FBI agent is probably that's going to get you a knock. I know. I was like, I was thinking about it today. I was like, oh, they're going to watch my stuff that I watch on video games and uh, playing guitar and uh, you know, and and all of the craziness that we watch here on Redacted. How to clean crayon off of a wall. That's <laughs> right. the types of things that I look up. Uh, today I was helping my son or my kids play because they had a, they're off school and I was helping them uh, play Settlers of Catan, the board game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm like, you need to watch. All right, watch this so you can better understand how to use your resources when you're playing the game. And like, so right. You know, it's a good well, I mean, video. you know the profile, right? That they're looking up is people who are homesteading. Yeah. People who like chickens. People who like meat. People guns. who like guns. People are watching right? guns videos. That's, they want to know what you're up to if Preppers. you are that kind of person. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.